Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? Welcome to our GH Tech TV. And today I'm going to let you know some of the features, tips and tricks and some of the shortcuts which you can perform on YouTube's player. So knowing these things can save you some time and make you more productive. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate some of the shortcuts and this process actually works seamlessly on PC. Uh, so the main task of this is to minimize the use of mouse and to maximize the use of uh, keyboard. So uh, make sure to watch this video till the end so that you don't miss on any important points. Now to demonstrate this one, what I've done is uh, I've opened uh, a YouTube video in Chrome uh, so that I can you know, easily uh, let you know like uh, what are the shortcuts. All right guys, so quickly let's look at some of the shortcuts. So this K button can actually be used to play the video or uh, you know, uh, pause the video. So this is very handy, you can try that out. And uh, similarly J button can be used to move 10 seconds backwards, as you can see. And uh, you know, L button can be used to move 10 seconds forward, right? And um, this arrow mark, left arrow mark can be used to move uh, five seconds backwards and uh, right arrow mark can be used to move uh, five seconds uh, forwards, right? As you can see, it's pretty easy guys. Uh, you must know these things. The next thing is you can actually use these one to nine buttons to move between 10% to 90% uh, of the video. So as you can see, one means 10% of the video and two means 20% of the video and three means 30% of the video. As you can see, it's pretty easy to navigate, uh, you know, across the timeline. And uh, you can use F button to go full screen. So as you can see, it's full screen now. And uh, you can again press F button to get to normal mode, as you can see. And uh, not only that, but you can use C button to add captions. So as you can see, you now you have the captions and you have plus button over here. So you can uh, increase the size of the caption by pressing the press button, as you can see. And uh, at the same time, you can press this minus button to decrease the size of the caption, as you can see. And uh, you can use uh, uh, O button to increase the brightness or to decrease the brightness. As you can see, so it actually has uh, four levels of brightness. You can use that one. And uh, you can actually use uh, B button to uh, change the color of that caption. As you can see, you can make it colorful. So that's pretty handy. You can try that out. And uh, so let me just pause this video here. And if you have um, a keyboard like this, which has uh, home button and end button. So using end button will take you to end of the video and the home button will take you to uh, start of this video. So you can try that as well. And uh, you can use uh, M to mute the video. As you can see, so it's uh, the sound is on now. So if I press M, it will be muted. As you can see, it's pretty easy. And uh, you can actually use uh, this uh, up and down arrow, arrow buttons to increase or decrease the sound. As you can see, subscribe to us on YouTube. Most importantly, right? So that's also pretty handy. All right, guys. I just forgot to mention one thing. You can also use uh, uh, spacebar to uh, play or pause the video. As you can see, so that also works uh, seamlessly. No issues with that one. This actually happens with all of us. We like a song and we want to play that uh, again and again. And uh, every time we want to do that, we'll actually have to hit the replay button. So now there is a feature through which you can save that step. So that's nothing but you can press and hold on the player. So that's nothing but right click. So if you do right click, you'll get an option to loop uh, the video. So hit that option. And uh, once the video is in loop, so it will automatically, you know, uh, try playing that one. So we'll just check that. So let's play this one. So let's actually move uh, to the end of this video. And as we can see, uh, it started by itself. So that's a handy thing. You can definitely try that out. And not only that, guys, if you right click, you'll get option uh, called as stats for nerds. So if you click on that, uh, you'll get some statistics regarding network speeds, uh, how good the video is doing, at what resolution is it playing. As you can see, let me focus that one. So in this way, you can see like if there are any drop frames, right? So what is the dimension resolution uh, at what volume you were playing this one? So you'll get complete statistics. Uh, you can also monitor this thing if you want to. Now, there is one important thing which I want to mention. Let me just focus back again. All right. So there is another feature called as YouTube lean back. So that's very interesting feature. I'll just demo that for you. 
and uh, so so once you type in youtube.com slash lean back you will be taken to another website as you can see it's uh, youtube itself youtube.com slash tv so it actually allows you to play your video uh, in in a completely different format so as you can see it has that theater experience to it so one second i'll just try and play that as you can see so as you can see you can navigate this complete ui through a uh, keyboard and it actually feels like you're using uh, xbox one or ps4 so if you would like to play youtube on tv then this is one of the best things guys you can just try that out as you can see uh, you can actually move on and play as you can see the sound quality also seems to be excellent on this one. So it's a different experience. You can definitely try this out. All right, guys. So that's it, guys. If you feel this video was informative, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Follow us on Twitter at RGH Tech TV. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Most importantly, thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon.